Hey food lovers, welcome back to The Traveling Toucan. I'm Toka, your Bangkok food guide, and today's video is going to transform your Thai food adventure. After exploring Bangkok's vibrant food scene for five years and serving up videos to over two million viewers like you, I'm sharing the ultimate insider's guide to Bangkok's must-try dishes. In this video, you'll discover where locals really eat how to find the best authentic flavors, and most importantly, how to eat like a Bangkok native. Whether you're planning your first trip or you're a regular visitor, these tips will help you avoid tourist traps and find the real gems. Plus, I'll share some money-saving secrets that will make your food adventure even better. Some Tam Thai, green papaya salad. Let's start with Thailand's most famous salad, Som Tam Thai. At Ortor Core Market, Aunt Yai's stall has been serving this dish for over two decades. Watch as she transforms green papaya into delicate strands, then pounds them with tiny Thai chilies, sweet tomatoes, and crunchy peanuts in a wooden mortar. The dressing combines fish sauce, palm sugar, and lime juice for that perfect sweet-sour spicy balance. What makes her version special is the addition of salted egg and grilled chicken. A plate costs just 60 baht, and the best time to visit is between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. when ingredients are freshest. Khao Mangai, Chicken Rice. Next up is Go Ang's famous chicken rice in Pratunam. This isn't just boiled chicken on rice, it's a masterpiece of poaching. The chicken is cooked in a ginger pandan broth until perfectly tender, while the rice is prepared with chicken fat and aromatic garlic. Their secret weapon? A sauce that combines fermented soybean paste, ginger, chilies, and a secret blend of ingredients they've perfected since 1960. At 50 baht per plate, it's a steal. Pro tip, order kakai, chicken leg, for the juiciest meat. Pad Krapao Mu, holy basil stir-fry. Head to Victory Monuments, Soai I Rangnam where J. Phi's sister runs a street-side stall, making the best pad krapao in town. The holy basil leaves are flash-fried with minced pork, creating an intensely aromatic dish that's spicy, salty, and slightly sweet. The runny fried egg on top adds richness to every bite. What sets this version apart is the wok hei, that smoky flavor you only get from high-heat wok cooking. A plate with rice and egg costs 70 baht. Hoi Todd, crispy oyster omelet. In Bangkok's bustling Chinatown, follow your nose to Nai Mong Hoi Todd. This 50-year-old establishment serves the crispiest oyster omelets in town. Watch as they pour the rice flour batter onto a screaming hot griddle, adding plump oysters or mussels. The magic happens when they flip it creating a crispy exterior while keeping the inside soft and custardy. A sprinkle of bean sprouts adds freshness, and their homemade sriracha sauce gives it the perfect kick. Order the mixed version with both oysters and mussels for 1 or 20 baht. Best time to visit is after 4 p.m. when the evening crowd starts building. Guai Tiao Ruea, Boat Noodles. At Victory Monument's famous Boat Noodle Alley, Dozens of vendors compete for the title of best boat noodles. My favorite is Pa Yai's shop, serving these tiny but mighty bowls for three generations. The rich broth, darkened with pork blood, is flavored with cinnamon, star anise, and garlic. Choose between rice or yellow noodles, topped with tender pork or beef. Each bowl is just 20 baht, and locals typically order four to five bowls. The secret? Mix in dried chili flakes and vinegar with crushed peanuts for the authentic experience. Larb Gai, spicy chicken salad, some Tam Nua in Siam Square revolutionized this Aizen classic. Their Larb Gai combines minced chicken with toasted rice powder, mint leaves, and a perfect blend of lime juice and chilies. What makes their version special is the addition of young ginger and fresh lemongrass. The dish arrives with a basket of sticky rice and fresh vegetables. At 120 baht, it's slightly pricier than street versions, but worth every baht. Pro tip, ask for larb kua if you prefer a smokier taste with dry chilies. Tom Yum Goong, spicy shrimp soup. 
Poor's creamy Tom Yum Goom has earned legendary status. Unlike typical clear versions, their soup uses prawn head fat to create a rich, creamy broth that's still distinctly sour and spicy. They use only river prawns, which are sweeter and more succulent than regular shrimp. Fresh lemongrass, galangal, and kaffir lime leaves are bruised to release maximum flavor. A bowl big enough for two costs 250 baht. Come early. They often sell out by 2 p.m. Tom Ka Gai Coconut Chicken Soup a restaurant near Wat Pho serves a refined version of this coconut-based soup. Their Tom Ka Gai balances rich coconut milk with sharp galangal and tender chicken thigh meat. The addition of young coconut meat adds natural sweetness, while straw mushrooms provide texture. What sets them apart is their house-made chili jam garnish. A bowl costs 220 baht, and their air-conditioned setting offers a nice break from street-side dining. Khao Soy Northern Curry Noodles Ong Tong Khao Soy in Sukhumvit brings Northern Thai flavors to Bangkok. Their curry soup base uses both coconut milk and condensed milk for extra richness. The contrast between crispy fried noodles and soft egg noodles underneath creates fantastic texture. Their secret? They make their own curry paste daily and slow cook the chicken legs for four hours. A bowl costs 80 baht and comes with house-made chili oil and pickled vegetables. Hao Ka Mu Braised Pork Leg Rice our final stop is J. Yui's cart near Victory Monument. Her braised pork leg is cooked for six hours with Chinese five spice, soy sauce, and rock sugar until it's melt in your mouth tender. Each plate comes with blanched morning glory, pickled mustard greens, and a perfect boiled egg. The meat literally falls off the bone and the braising liquid seasoned rice is a meal in itself. At 60 baht per plate, you'll want to come back for more. Look for her pink cart from 3 p.m. until late night. Before we wrap up, here's a money-saving tip. Most of these spots serve their best dishes between 40 to 100 baht. That's incredible value for world-class flavors. Remember to bring cash, as many local spots don't accept cards. If you've enjoyed discovering Bangkok's food secrets with me today, hit that like button and subscribe to join our food-loving family. Ring that notification bell to catch our weekly videos about Asian food adventures. Drop a comment below telling me which dish you're most excited to try. Want more Bangkok food tips? Check out our Thailand playlist for night market guides and hidden gem restaurants. Next week, we're exploring Bangkok's best breakfast spots, so you won't want to miss that.